going on pumpers i just want to start this video off by saying you don't have to accept every single job out there in fact you know there's power in being able to walk away from work that you don't think is the right fit for you or when you find the customers that appreciate your work you go the extra mile for them and you walk away from the ones that don't appreciate it had a run-in with an unpleasant customer earlier I walk up, I'm gonna shake his hand, introduce myself like I always do. And he's immediately giving me attitude like, he's like, what? I'm like, how are you doing, sir? He's like, could be better. You know, people tell me they're gonna be here at a certain time and then they don't show up. And I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> immediately doesn't make sense in my head because, you know, we're a family uh, owned and operated business and I know we always communicate with our customers so they're, that wouldn't be happening and turns out um, our secretary had been trying to call this customer but he wasn't answering and um, we had actually uh, been referred to this job by another company that's a friend of ours and I don't know where the miscommunication happened but that person had told this customer that we were gonna be there at 9 a.m. which we couldn't make happen just because we had so many other customers to attend to today. But I wasn't having it. I was immediately saying, nah, we, we don't need to do this job for you, sir. I think we're just gonna head out. And I start walking away and he's like, wait, no, no, I still need it pumped. I don't, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to offend you and all this stuff. And he actually, his personality did like a full 180 after that. He was the nicest older gentleman out there i mean he's uh starts telling me a little bit about his life and everything anyways that's my rant for today you gotta have the power to be able to walk away from a job even though i still ended up doing the job just because he had apologized and let me know that it was a misunderstanding and i, was, I told him i was like i i get that i just i don't know why you were attacking me as, as soon as i barely get here you know it's I'm barely meeting you, it's a fresh slate. I'm here to pump out your septic tank. I, I don't know what else you've been told or anything. I'm, I'm here to do work for you. And then after that, we ended up getting along. He even gives me some, uh, if you live in Texas, you know the chile pequeños off of his plants that he has growing out in the front of his house. And telling me how how I can make some really good salsa with it and everything. And then I shook his hand and we went on our way. Going forward, we'll try to do better to have, you know, just better communication with our customers. But um, when I had asked my secretary about it, she's saying that the guy was not answering his phone, like no matter what. It's an older gentleman, so she was blowing up his phone trying to call him or text him and no, nothing. But then he says nobody, let them know what time we're gonna be there. Uh, yeah, we can't let you know when we're gonna be there if you don't answer. <laughs> so, there's the rant for today. Peace out, pumpers. I'm watching this truck get filled up.